For centuries, the humble bumblebee has captivated observers with its aerial prowess. These buzzing insects with their rotund bodies and seemingly small wings have long been a source of wonder and intrigue. But behind their seemingly effortless flight lies a fascinating paradox that puzzled scientists for decades. How, they wondered, could something so big and bulky stay aloft? The laws of physics, it seemed, did not apply to the bumblebee. Early aerodynamic models based on fixed-wing aircraft suggested that bumblebees should be incapable of generating enough lift to overcome their weight. The belief that bumblebee flight defied the known laws of physics became a popular anecdote often cited as an example of the limitations of science. It was a mystery that captured the imagination. In the early 20th century, French entomologist Antoine Magnon attempted to unravel the enigma of bumblebee flight. Together with his assistant, André Saint-Largue, Magnon applied the principles of fixed-wing aerodynamics to the bumblebee. They meticulously measured the insect's wingspan, weight, and wingbeat frequency. Using these measurements and conventional aerodynamic formulas, they calculated the lift force generated by the bumblebee's wings. Their findings were startling. According to their calculations, the bumblebee's wings simply did not generate enough lift to support its weight. The numbers were clear. Bumblebees, aerodynamically speaking, should not be able to fly. The mystery of bumblebee flight remained unsolved for several decades. However, advances in high-speed photography and computer modeling in the latter half of the 20th century allowed scientists to study the mechanics of insect flight in unprecedented detail. What they discovered revolutionized our understanding of bumblebee flight. These insects, it turned out, had a few aerodynamic tricks up their fuzzy sleeves. Their wings do not simply flap up and down like those of a bird. Instead, they execute a complex figure-eight motion, rotating and twisting with each beat. This intricate wing motion, combined with the bumblebee's flexible wings and rapid wing beat frequency, creates tiny whirlwinds of air known as leading edge vortices. These miniature tornadoes form along the leading edges of the wings and generate significantly more lift than a fixed wing could ever achieve. Furthermore, the bumblebee's wings interact with each other, creating a downwash of air that further enhances lift. Even the shape of a bumblebee's body, often perceived as a hindrance to flight, plays a crucial role in reducing drag. The bumblebee's ability to fly is not magic, nor does it defy the laws of physics. It is a testament to the power of evolutionary adaptation, a delicate balance of lift, drag and ingenious wing mechanics.